Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to the ZoobTube. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to take a look at how to create a look at camera. And we'll take a look at three different ways of accomplishing that. So let's get into Cinema 4D and let's get started. So here we are in Cinema 4D. And I'm just going to hit play here. And we'll see that this ball is rolling. And the first camera that we're going to look at is the is a target camera. Uh, the second is aim using a constraint tag. And then third is a more advanced way using Expresso. All these kind of give you a similar result, but let's if we take a look at target. This one is keeping the ball in frame in the center of the frame the whole time. And that looks great, but for a lot of things that might look too kind of CGI and um, humans aren't great at keeping, you know, they, the camera on their subject the whole time. So there's sometimes a drift. <clears throat> so if we want to introduce that, we can start using things like using a constraint tag, which will introduce a little bit of variation, a little bit of drift. You see that it's not drifting too far. It tries to catch up as soon as the ball slows down. But you see that you get more of this like fluid kind of dynamic movement rather than the more rigid movement of the target tag. And similarly, we can use an Expresso node to kind of get a similar result. So you see that the ball can roll out of the center, but then as soon as the camera slows down, it can catch up. So let's take a look at how to create that. I'm going to hit pause here. Let's hide these cameras. I'm going to make a new camera. And we'll go into this camera. We'll just frame it up. <clears throat> and the first thing I want to show you is how to use a target tag, which is probably the simplest, and you know how to do that. So I'm just going to right click, go to my animation tags, and hit target tag. Then I'll click on my target tag. I need a target object, and in this case, I want it to be this sphere. So I'm going to hit this little arrow here and then click on my sphere. And you see it kind of snapped on there. And now if I hit play, you'll see that the same thing happens. My camera is targeting. If I delete that tag, it will stop moving that tells you that this is working. That's perfect, great. Now let's try something a little bit more advanced. So I'm going, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and delete this tag. And let's add a rigging constraint tag instead. And what do we want this constraint tag to do? Right now it's not doing anything. We want it to aim. Whoa, and something happened right there. Uh, that's okay. We have to tell it which object we need it to aim at. So I'm going to click that again and then click my sphere. And now it snapped it back on. I don't want it to rotate in the B direction. So I'm going to check that off. And. That's. Perfect. What I did there was I right click on this little icon and that gives me a rotation. Alternatively, I could have gone here into coordinates and oops, zeroed out my B rotation. And I can do that over here as well. Great. So now that we have the aim on there, let's hit play and see what that's doing. 
just by default, it's at 100% strength and it's no different than just using a regular target. What we want it to do is have a little bit of drift. So if we just bring this strength down to, let's say something like 10%, immediately you see that it's that, that the camera is starting to drift. It's not so rigid. If we bring this down even further to something like five, you'll see that it's falling further behind. And the power of this is that you have a key frameable kind of property here, strength, as well as offset. So you can have it not be centered if you wanted it to. Or you could have it tilted down or tilted up, or you could add, you know, some additional variation by using these offsets if you want it to kind of bob up and down a little bit could do that you could add a lot more complexity here so that's looking great um, now let's take a look at how to how to uh, accomplish the same thing just using an expresso tag because of course this is cinema and there are multiple ways there are multiple ways to skin a cat So let's delete this constraint tag and we will bring in a programming expresso tag. And that will bring in this expresso editor window. And if we just hit play, nothing happens. The camera is just doing its thing or not doing its thing, it's just stationary. Uh, so let's do a couple of things to get started here. First of all, we need to bring in our camera and we can do that just by clicking and dragging that object into here. And we need a, well, actually we need a special node here that's called smooth, whoops. Let's see, target, yeah, soft target, not smooth target. We want the node called soft target. So what does this soft target want? It wants a, a few inputs and then it has an output for rotation. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give us how the camera is gonna rotate. So first we need to tell it what object to target. So we need this to be the sphere. So I'll bring in that sphere and I can click on this little red thing over here and bring up the object property. Then I'm gonna hook that up to the object right here. Actually, that's not what I want. I'm gonna bring in the sphere here and that sphere object is my target. So I'm going to hook that up to the target and right now the expresso tag doesn't know which object it's connected to because expresso is agnostic of whatever object that you have it as a tag on so we need to bring in the camera which we did earlier so let me just make a duplicate of this and we'll also bring in the object property here and we'll plug that into the object property of our camera. Now there's still nothing happening and that's because we're not telling our camera how to move yet. So to do that, we need to bring in a rotation property because that's what is output over here. So what we could do is just drag that straight into the blue and then it pops down. We want to go into coordinates and rotation, rotation. And now, boom, you see that the camera is moving and it has kind of a smooth movement. And if you want to change that, you can click over here in the soft target property and there's a smoothing property right here. And it's set to 0.1 right now. If we set it to something like one, it will go 100% and it'll treat it like a target tag. So we want a value that's between zero and one. So if I set it to something like 0.05, 
we'll get this super nice kind of organic fluid movement. So that was it. That was three different ways of getting a look at camera in Cinema 4D. Please let me know if you have any other questions or comments. And please like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you so much. See you in the next one.